Well, the countdown is on. Less than two weeks to go now. The U.S. Senate candidates, among many other candidates, are taking their swings at each other. This time over how to best educate your children. News 13's Adrian Stein joins us live in our studio. And one candidate revealed his plan today. The others say not so fast. Adrian. Yeah, that's right, Kim. Angus King says if elected, he has a plan to improve your child's education in Maine. But the other two candidates in the race say they aren't buying into it. The independent candidate, along with former education officials, unveiled King's education plan in Portland today. He says his plan is as simple as TIP or TIP. T, he says, is for teacher training, development, and retention. I, innovation, making sure students have the proper knowledge of digital tools to succeed. And finally, King says the P stands for parent and education educator partnerships. King believes his plan will get Maine students prepared for the workforce of the future. The problem now is we don't know what the jobs are going to be. There are many jobs that exist today that didn't exist when I was governor. And so the challenge for education isn't necessarily giving people knowledge, it's giving them the ability to discover and use knowledge for themselves. But uh, the other two main candidates in the race, Republican Charlie Summers and Democrat Cynthia Dill, say they aren't impressed with King's plan. I'm really uh, leery of any plan that anybody puts out that suggests that the, that the federal bureaucrats can do a better job in educating our children than our local communities, our moms and dads, and our state officials. So while Angus may tout his record of handing out laptops, he's still not willing to cut taxes for millionaires and billionaires and really make the tough choices that will direct domestic resources towards students. King released his plan, at least in part, in response to this negative ad against him by American Crossroads. That's a political action committee started by Republican activist Karl Rove. The ad claims King cut education funding while he was governor in Maine. That is a claim that he and his supporters say is untrue. Now, one thing the candidates do appear to agree on is that education and growing the economy go hand in hand. Reporting live in the studio, Adrian Stein, News 13.